Hi folks, we're back to the AGS tutorial. I'm going to finish up um, the dialogue that we started in the last video. Um, <clears throat> if I bring up my notes again, we have three more things to cover in this uh, particular dialogue. So just very quickly, I'm going to um, copy and paste this third one. Go in here, create new option, paste in here. And this is the same stuff we did in the last video. I want Donatello and Sammy to talk. So I'm going to take what I want them to say and paste it here. I'm doing this very quickly because this is the stuff that we went over in the last video and I just want to kind of get these um, dialogues out of the way so that I can get into the more exciting stuff uh, in this video. So this is the fourth option. Copy and paste that in there. Now this one triggers a new uh, dialogue which I'm not going to do yet. I'll, I'll wait and save that for uh, a little later when I talk about that. I just want to go ahead and get the option in there. And then this fifth one is the one that's actually going to end the conversation. And then all, Don, all Mr. Donatello is going to say is bye. And eventually we're going to have the conversation end with this one, like I just said. Um, but I'll do that in just a second. So what I want to do now is um, these last, I guess the second one, the fourth one, and the fifth one are going to have extra stuff that we want to do uh, along with the um, dialogue. So that's what I'm going to do in this one. I'll start out with this last one here because it's sort of the easiest one to do. Um, this is the one where, you know, he says, I've talked to you enough, bye. Donatello says, bye, Sammy. And then we want the dialogue to end at this point. Well, how do you do that? Well, notice that every one of these um, at symbols, at one, at two, even the at s, they all end with the word return. Um, that's by default. What that, base, that return means, that means return back to the dialogue. So go back. So after they selected this stuff and all this, all this um, dialogue runs, return back to the dialogue, give the user some choices again. Well, for this last one, we don't want to return back to the dialogue. We want to end the dialogue. And so the way that you would do that is to just simply say stop. So we don't want to return. We just want to stop. Um, and so just to test that out, let's just make sure that we're, that runs okay. Talk to Mr. Donatello. Now we have all five of these options that I just added. Now this last one here, okay, I've talked to you enough. Bye. Sammy says what he's going to say. Mr. Donatello says what he's going to say, and then now we're back to the game again. So um, all every dialogue at some point should have should have a way for the player to exit the dialogue, um, and that's just the the way that you would do that is at the end of the dialogue option that you want to go back to the game, you just say stop. Um, and this could be any of these. I could have made any of these a stop, you know, if I wanted to. If I want every single one of them to return to the game, but um, in most cases you're going to have one at the bottom. Um, the next easiest one is going to be this one here, the second one, where he says, hey, look over there, it's a three-headed monkey. And Mr. Donatello turns and says, where? So after he says where, at this point, I want Mr. Donatello to turn around and look. Well, in the script, in scripting, what we would do, and if, I would, if this were in the, uh, the game script, the room script, I would say something like C Donatello dot face location. And then I would give it an X and Y location, which, which basically tells the player to face a certain position on the screen. The X position that I want him to, go, to face would be the position that Mr. Donatello is currently at, plus one. So that's one pixel to the right. The Y location that I want him to, to look at is C Donatello dot Y. Um, that's all I'll do. There's a couple of optional parameters, which I won't worry about. This would actually work fine, but with the scripting, uh, in, in the dialogue, if you want to put regular room script commands inside the dialogue, you just indent it with, with a couple of spaces. A couple of spaces will work. So anything with a couple of spaces in it means this is not a dialogue option. This isn't something that the characters are going to say, but this is a room script type, um, type command. So you can put those directly in your, um, your dialogue script, just indent them with uh, with either a tab or some type of white space um, beforehand. So let's see. I want him to face the location. Then I want um, I want it to wait for you know a, a second or so. So we'll put a wait forty in there. Again, it's indented because it's a it's a room script type command. It's a it's a regular scripting command. And then then I want Sammy to say ha ha, just kidding. And now I want Mr. Donatello to turn back around. So C Donatello dot face location, or actually he can face back to face character again. Face character C Sammy. So he faces back to Sammy and he says why I ought it. So let's try that out. Run the game. Talk to Mr. Donatello. Uh, select the second one here. Hey, look over there, it's a three-headed monkey. He says where? 
He turns to look, he waits one second, and then it works exactly like we wanted it to. So that's how you can put the just simple little room script commands. Actually, this can be as complex as you want it to be, um, pretty much. Um, but this can be you know, a fairly complex script here that you can put directly in your dialogue. So that's really, really helpful there. Um, used to in AGS, what you would have to do is you'd have to do a run script command here um, that you'd basically create another script uh, file or some kind of function, and then you'd basically have to run it uh, externally here. But, but with the new versions of, AE, of AGS, um, you can now just put this, these commands directly into the script. So before we get into this one where he says, um, tell me about yourself, and then Mr. Donatello says, what do you want to know? Uh, what I originally wanted to do here, and, and I'll still do this, but I wanted this to trigger another dialogue. But before I get into that, I want to talk about a couple of more things with this one. If you remember when I showed you the dialogue, um, in addition to being able to select the, the, the options here, I also had, as soon as you selected an option and, you, and you, the character said what they were going to say, the option disappeared and it was no longer available anymore. Um, so how do you do that? Well, this first one here, if I wanted Mr. Hi, Mr. Donatello, what's up? If I want, as soon as the player selects it, the characters say what they're going to say, and if I don't want that be, to be selected anymore, then all you have to do is say option dash off, and then give it the number of the option that you want to turn off. In this case, I want to turn off option one, because that's the one they just selected. So whenever it goes through here, I want to turn off option one. So you just say option off, and uh, type in the number that you want to turn off, and that's that will turn off the option. Um, just to show you how that works, I select the first one, and now the first one is no longer available anymore. So that's how you would do that. Now if I wanted to um, to be able to turn that option on again later, uh, for some reason if I wanted something happened and I wanted uh, Sammy to be able to say, hi Mr. Donatello, what's up again? Um, I could just say, there's, a, there's another command called option on, and I could put this later, I wouldn't put it directly under here, but I might put it, you know, if they ask the second option here, I might want to turn on that first option again for some reason, so I could say option dash on one. Conversely, there's another option off type command. You can say option off dash forever. Uh, and what this does is this turns the option off just like it says forever. Uh, no matter what you do later on in the script, uh, even if you try to turn it back on with an option on command, this option will never come back once uh, if you've if you've given it this option off forever command. Um, I'll just use the option off in this case. In fact, I'll just put the um, option off on every one of these. Option off two for that one. Option off three for this one. Basically, what I'm doing here is every time you select an option, that go that option goes away from from the dialog and it never comes back. Um, I won't do that for the fourth one. So this fourth option here um, triggers another dialog. Just really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and create that other dialog. Um, I created a new dialog, create a new option. Let's go ahead and copy and paste the uh, parameters here for the for the new dialog. Uh, for now, I'm going to just copy my note and I'm going to just keep the dialogue like this for now and I'll, I'll get into how to um, how to fulfill that, fulfill that note that I wrote there and just uh, maybe in, probably in the next video. What's your middle name? Mr. Donatello responds. And finally, I guess there's nothing else I want to know. And Mr. Donatello says suit yourself. Okay, so we've got this new dialogue created, and now the, the, the deal is I want to be able to trigger this dialogue based on that previous dialogue option. So what I do here is, when he says, what do you want to know, I want to go to a new dialogue. Well, the way that you do that is just a simple matter of go to dash dialogue. You give it the dialogue number. In this case, I just created the new dialogue in number one. So I say go to dialogue one. Now, I don't need this return anymore because it's going to go to the next, to the next dialogue and it doesn't need to return after that. So then in the new dialogue now, when he says, I guess there's nothing else I want to know, and Mr. Donatello says, suit yourself, now I want to go back to the previous dialogue that called this dialogue, so I can just say go to previous at this point. And that will go back to the, the dialogue that called this dialogue. So let's run that and see how that works. Talk to Mr. Donatello. I'll say, tell me about yourself. 
He says, what do you want to know? And now, see, now I have this new, new, these new dialogue options. Um, now I can ask him about these things. Um, but now let's, I, what I really want to test is this last one. I, I guess there's nothing else I want to know. Suit yourself. And it goes back to this, uh, to this big dialogue here. So um, that's what I wanted to, to go over. And in the next video, um, just to, to sum these things up, I'll, I'll, um, I'll talk about how to make uh, Mr. Donatello say this the first two times uh, Sammy asks about how old he is, and then the third time he'll say this. Um, and then we'll move on to the Gabriel Knight style dialogue um, system after that. So um, hope you're enjoying the videos, guys. Thanks for watching.